welcome back to the channel everybody it is a gorgeous day today one of the last ones we have it is the 26th day after christmas hope you guys had a great christmas and you got to spend it with your family and your friends we had a great christmas uh we spent it with my parents my grandparents and then my wife's parents and grandparents as well along with siblings so that was great we had fun today we're gonna go move some cows i weaned my calves two weeks ago a little over and it's time to get the cows back on the corn stalks because i'm tired of feeding them there's one the here, here. I, think, on whip, kind of. yeah, I think there's a, a paddle up there yet too okay. i think everything else is up there but it's just i don't know where yeah well i guess i'll just hop in with you huh yeah. Unless I don't, I don't want my bad boots or not. I got them. I better grab mine just in case. Hmm. Well, I thought my mud boots were here, but they're not. I'll use these. I'm gonna be a few spiders. Those aren't mine either. Huh. Getting muddy today. Yeah, I do now. A couple days of feed really helped. I don't know what's going on. Out we'll load them out, but we'll separate as we go. Okay. Hey, 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 that one moving. There you go. Easy girls. They can't see you. 
No. No. So it's the day after we sorted the cows off and we're gonna mix up a batch of feed and then I'm gonna go help the neighbor move his group of 300 plus cows roughly six miles. So the neighbor's cows that we are moving is like a group of cows that he's watching over winter. Kind of like I do with mine, except his are farther away this time. So we have to move them roughly six miles, I think. So the reason that we separated those cows off yesterday is one of them is pregnant. She must have aborted her calf over the summer and then somehow must have got bred again. And I'm pretty sure I didn't have any bulls get out this year. So I don't exactly know how that happened. But she's due to calve the beginning of January-ish according to the vet. So she's here, and she is starting to bag up. So I would say fairly soon she'll be having a calf. So I left her here because I didn't want her to calve in the cornfield. Uh, multiple reasons. One, if there's a problem, at least here I can run her into a squeeze chute, um, put her on a trailer, whatever I need to do. Two, if there's a snowstorm, you know she's gonna calve during the snowstorm. And then when it's out there in the cornfield, it's harder for me to find a calf in a 160 acre patch than it is to find a calf in a, in a dry lot. So that's the main reason. So she's here until that calf is born and we'll probably wait another two weeks before I move her out and make sure that calf is really 
energetic, stable, and good to go on corn stalks. Thumbs up. This is the end of the video. However, I'm gonna throw some clips in of us moving these cows, and you can check them out, see what you think. I'm not gonna video the whole thing because they're not my cows, and that's it's not really my job. If you enjoy this channel, be sure and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow, and uh, helps put out more content. So we're gonna get more into cattle, a lot more into cattle here. As farming's done until the end of March. Alright, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time. You're supposed to be taking a break. Sit down. Hey. Up, up, up. Shh, shh.